Welcome back, guys and girls. It's Assassin's Creed 3. The DLC, the King George Washington Tyranny of Doom. And I just freaking fired a bow at that guy. Sorry for not dodging, but I was pretty impressed with my bow skills. Uh, we're here in the middle of a battle, which is right where we left off. And thank you guys so much for the huge support on the first part. Uh, definitely warrants finishing now that everyone seems to definitely like this um, to the maximum. I will be uh, completing the DLC here. I've heard that it's decently short, so we're going to try to wrap it up pretty darn fast here, in fact. Um, but, yeah, expect it to be done within the week. So, Mother and I are fighting. Mother doesn't get hurt very often. She's kind of a beast. Um, I'm not really sure how she does that. I think those guys just shot their own people, which is okay. But, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. No complaints. Mad King George is on the warpath and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Come with us. We know. Oyanair sent us to collect the vows of the Great Willow. She means for us to defend our people. To make the tea? Has she lost her senses? The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. You must not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death for those who lack the Constitution. We cannot disobey the clan, Mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the clan Mother's request. We will collect the vows. Speak to Oyanair, and if you can convince her, we will burn them. I intend. Hmm. All sorts of crazy scheming going on here. Mount a horse to continue, mother. I will follow you home. Let's go. I kind of really like the idea of this DLC. Like, you know, the whole crazy dream world alternate reality. What is the tea of the Great Willow? Something our people should never have discovered. It is the tea brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our warriors. It grants certain strings for the Hungaron, but... For every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. Did you drink it? Never. But I have seen what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. I will not allow you to drink it. There's now a magic tea that we must avoid. Don't pour it in my eyeballs. It'll turn me into the Hulk. Especially because my dad was a crazy, crazy Haytham. <laughs> Uh, it's a little goofy. You know, Assassin's Creed's always had, like, some, some wonky, like, but what stuff in it, but magic tea? I don't know. We'll see how it pans out. Gonna hold judgment for now. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths? We can fight them as human beings. My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the king. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. Then like you, he will die. The dumb, dumb, dumb. What? Why does the mom sound like an angry, out of breath Emma Stone? What is going on here? I don't remember her sounding like that in the main game, unless this is a younger version of herself. No tea for us, remember that. It's a magic rule. Stupid old woman. What would you have us do, mother? We have no choice but to fight. I know. I have something that will help. Something from your father. My father? Yeah. He left it for you long ago. Before he died. Pirate juice. No, seriously. What is he going to give us? A magic sword? A thunder lightning stick? Rain. Weather machine. Weather machine. Okay. Ooh. My father left those for me. He was part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. 
And I know what those are. You do? They will certainly help. How do you know all this? I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you. Achievement for... Achievement for talking to mom. Uh oh Washington is here. Defend the village. Hey. You guys under control? I've got my hidden blades back, so... I feel like we're in good shape to take care of some dudes. Get out of here. It's interesting that, you know, for a while, like, every game and their brother borrowed this combat, if you remember, like, Batman. You know, this is around the time of AC2 and... and not... Okay, I seriously do not want to use my hidden blade right now, really. I mean, I guess while, while we get these chains, we'll do it. Um, but it's interesting because this was, like, the combat to beat for a while. And I feel like that might have, like, run its course for now, at least. Yeah, let's do battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Okay. That guy's pretty good. Eh, not good enough for Connor, though. <laughs> Boom. Knife to the face. Yeah. <laughs> and you're out of here. Boom. All right. These guys are all going to the forest. I'm going to try to take down as many as I can. Um, so I found out that this DLC is going to be split into three parts. So this first chapter, um, and then basically this whole... Oh God! This whole King George, ouch, Chihuahua! This whole King George, uh, King George Washington evil bit is going to be divided into three, um, three chapters basically. So we won't get the whole story here. We'll have to wait and uh, till more of the season pass content is released. Uh oh, okay. I need to heal. There's so many dudes. Mother, we really have to fight everyone? <laughs> Bag. This is one of the most epic battles I've seen. One of the more massive that AC has ever had. Or at least, uh... Um... Assassin's Creed 3. Now, that was one of the big promises. That they have these gigantic battles. Am I gonna die? I mean, what is going on here? This is ridiculous. Okay, I've been shot. But can we get out of here? I'm leaving. I don't think we can fight everyone. I'm fleeing to the forest. You know, Assassin's Creed 3 tired of these, like, epic battles. And that's sort of... Oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I guess I do have to kill everyone. I would, I would go back if you'd let me, but they don't want me to. Um, but that's like the that's the most guys like I, uh, there's that one scene towards the end of AC3 where you're running across the field dodging cannon fire. Um, but other than that, this is probably the biggest that I've seen, I think. Okay, so we really have to kill everyone apparently. Now, I'm gonna go tomahawk them. I think it'll be easier than trying to defeat everyone with hidden blades. I don't know what you guys' favorite part of Assassin's Creed is. My favorite part is actually the exploration. I think that's the most exciting. Um, and it's something that, you know, in AC3, I felt like they got away from. And maybe it's because the environments weren't as exciting. Uh, but I'm, I'm hopeful that whatever Assassin's Creed comes out, I know a lot of you guys were giving me your thoughts and ideas in the comments about what the game this year is going to be. You know, a lot of people have been rumoring um, somewhere in Asia, ancient China, samurai, stuff like that. Um, but wherever it is, I hope that the, the locale is a more... I, I'd say that America isn't interesting, but just the the the, the look and the lay of the land in Boston and New York just was nowhere near as uh, exhilarating to climb around as was um, like you know say the Colosseum in Rome or um, some of the structures in earlier AC games. That guy is nasty. Ouch! I'm not sure if we to free kill everyone or just free all the dudes. Let's see. Wow. Nope, you're not going to. Nope. All right. I also want to see a Batman Assassin's Creed combo game that will never happen, of course. But I just, I, don't know, I think they'd be, they'd make a good team. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I don't know, not, not Connor, but Ezio maybe and Batman. Okay, guys, seriously, get out of here. Flee! I'm trying to save all my, my peoples from the violence of George Washington's evil army. Come on. Whoa. That was a pretty, like, epic-looking moment that didn't end very epically. <laughs> I'm really not sure what, I'm, what the intention here is. Is it kill everyone, or is it just survive for as long as possible? Again, like I said, this is one of the bigger combat moments I've ever seen. We got some sad music, a little, little Pocahontasness going on here with the, the Great Willow and her magic tea and the mom. And... This is 
crazy. I mean, I can, I can just wreck everybody if that's what they would like. We can have massive combat drills here and show them who's boss. I guess that's what we needed to do. Victory is ours. Good work, guys. Or not good work, every guy. But at least for Connor, it was good work. Here comes Washington with his magic Triton sword. General Putnam. General Arnold. I sometimes despair of our project. I question my abilities and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. We will bring it with fists of iron. And I have assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Thank you, honorable gentlemen. This country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! You will not succeed here. <laughs> you? You survived. How astonishing. This time, I'll make certain of your death. Mother! Washington. Connor versus George. As he killed Connor's mom for, well, not, not him personally, but she died for the second time in Connor's life. Kill Mad King George. Wow, okay, that's not gonna work so hot. <laughs> this guy's a magic staff. Away with you. Oh, okay, this isn't gonna go well, guys and girls. I can just tell you right now. How about I fire an arrow at you? You like magic arrows? Nope, you don't. With my power, I will rule over a free world. What is this some freaking Kingdom Hearts nonsense? What is going on? Unreal. I bet we have to take down each of those generals in the two first episodes and then King George in the third. That's my prediction. Write it down if you want to remember when I'm right at the end. I bet that's it. That's Those are the three major assassinations right there. What the heck is this staff? Oh yeah, dual wield pistols. Ouch. Ouch. That here. For good measure. Okay, the end of the DLC apparently. Game over. Forget the other two episodes. Never mind. Everybody's dead. What the heck is going on? This is all supposed to happen apparently. Late title screen for the win. The tyranny of King Washington. Tyranny, tyranny. Tomato, tomato, who cares? All I know is that Connor just died, so what the heck? What the freaking heck? Five months later at Connor's funeral, everyone's singing Farm Rundell. What? He is awake. There's no way he could have survived that. What the heck? Come on. Where are we? Safe place, by the grace of your brothers. The village. George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen, and now she is dead. You take the news well. It is something that I knew, that I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution, how did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. But now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving, staying out of his way. It's your mother tried to steal it from him. And that just angered him more. Now, our king is dead. And the people of the frontier murdered and imprisoned. How did we survive? 
by the strength granted us. By the Great Willow. The strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone. Redonagedon. It falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow. Climb her. Retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy. Drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. What power? Gather your strength, and I will show you. <clears throat> yeah, Crazy Grandma gonna lead us to victory with her magic tea. In the winter is where we will continue next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. If you are and want to see more Assassin's Creed 3 DLC, hit that like button, add your favorite, show some love in the comments below, and I will bring it to you. Until that time, though, drink some hot chocolate. Have a fantastic day. Hope you're enjoying. Until next time, we will see you all later.